What's up everyone? I am so excited to share this new video with you. Uh, it's unlike anything I've ever done here on the YouTube channel before and I had so much fun making this video and I know that it's just packed with super useful information for you guys. Uh, this is my first ever interview style video and I was just so lucky to have Dom Hodgson, the pet biz whiz, on as my first guest. Uh, if you don't know, Dom uh, is one of the leading pet business coaches in the world. Uh, he owns a pet care business in the United Kingdom, and he has written many books uh, about pet care and pet businesses, one of which is called Walk Yourself Wealthy that we will talk about in this interview that uh, that book totally changed the direction for my own business a couple of years ago. Uh, so I just know that you're going to get a lot of benefit out of this interview. Uh, and like I said, this is my first ever interview style video, so I would love it if you let me know down in the comments uh, if you would like to see more content like this. And then the other super exciting thing here is that Dom and I are actually going to be hosting an in-person, all-day pet business seminar in Orlando, Florida on October 15th, 2022. Um, Seriously so excited about this. Um, I've been wanting to do uh, some kind of uh, in-person seminar to get to meet you guys uh, for a long time and uh, uh, Dom said that he was going to be in Orlando and was willing to give his, uh, his uh, grow your pet business fast speech uh, to a group of people if I could get you together. So I have booked the Florida Days Resort uh, all day on October 15th. We will be providing lunch. Um, we uh, do have to charge for the event, but for the next 30 days, uh, we are offering a discount for all of you people that sign up quickly. Um, I will put all the information on the screen now. I'll put the information on the screen at the end of the video. And then be sure to click the link in the description to go book your ticket uh, now. This is so, so exciting. Uh, I cannot wait to meet you guys in person, and I can't wait to hear your feedback on this interview style video. So enjoy. All right, guys, it's Doug the Dog Guy from Bad of the Bone Pet Care. I'm here with Dom Hodgson from the UK for my very first ever interview. I am so excited to be talking to Dom. We just uh, recorded an, an interview for his podcast. You'll have to check it out. It's the Poodle to Pet Business Podcast. He puts out a lot of great content out on there. He's written some great books. He's a great pet business coach for our industry. And I'm just so excited to be talking to him today. Dom, will you uh, introduce yourself and uh, tell everyone who you are and what you do? Absolutely. Thanks for the wonderful intro. Uh, Doug is correct. My name is Dom Hodgson. I am known as the Pet Biz Whiz. Uh, I started my first pet business, a dog adventure and, day, uh, and boarding business back in 2011. After, um, after 10 years working as a sales rep for a cigarette company, and I didn't really want to do that for another 30 years. So I, I quit. And the only things I enjoyed doing at the time, my only criteria was I knew I wanted to work outdoors. And I had a sort of um, an interest in dogs because we recently adopted a dog. And yeah, the, my business was born then uh, in, in 2011. It took off really well because we were the only people offering adventures at the time. We kind of pioneered a different way to uh, walk your dog. We would take them out on, on, on trips to the beach and uh, go swimming and, and hiking and all this kind of thing. And it took off fantastically well. Uh, I got really busy and then uh, I tried to expand. I, I dabbled with an online store, which was a total disaster for me. <laughs> and then I got really serious about sort of wanting to learn about marketing. So. I learned about direct mail, email marketing, um, podcasts, all this kind of thing, and uh, premium pricing. And, and it kind of, I went on a bit of a marketing and business journey, really. And then I, I plugged all this stuff into my own business and, and, and it took off incredibly well. I started coaching other pet business owners because they were asking me, you know, how are you doing all this stuff? How can you charge those prices? Um, and, uh, and yeah, and so for the last kind of five or six years, 
I have primarily been uh, pet business coaching, other businesses, startups, but mainly people, you know, six figure plus businesses who are uh, struggling, they're stressed out, they're overwhelmed, you know, their business has grown out of control. And uh, yeah, I help them create systems, create a real identity and, and, and re basically reclaim their lives so that they can continue to have an impactful business without, without it completely taking over their life. That's me in a nutshell. <laughs> so uh, do you still have your pack adventure business? What does it look like today? Yeah, it's, 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 it's fairly small, really. So that's so my son primarily runs that. My eldest son, Alex, he joined the business about uh, six years ago. We've had a number of different staff members as well over the years. Um, but the business is, uh, it's, it's relatively small. You know, we probably have like 10 or 11 clients, but they pay us a lot of money and they use us a lot. So it's, it's small and manageable, um, but incredibly profitable. Uh, my wife, actually, she was a teacher for 20 years. She left her teaching job and she came in full time as like operations manager here uh, just at the start of the pandemic really that was uh, 2020 and uh yeah so we're, we're quite small team um alex mainly does the adventures and the and the boarding um beth helps me with the the coaching side of things uh, the administrative side of the coaching business because that's you know worldwide now really we have clients all over the world and uh, and yeah, so fairly small team, and um, that's how I like it. <laughs> the complete opposite to your business. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's amazing that uh, your son works with you and your wife. I I didn't realize that. What is what is that like working with your family? Is it? Uh, does it have some struggles? <laughs> are, are they are they going to see this video? Can I be honest? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, it's it's swell. It's really good. You know they. Um, uh, it has its challenges, obviously, you know, work, working with family. But um, I think it's we talked about this on the recent podcast that we recorded. It's about doing what you're good at, you know. So whether whether it's a family member who comes into the business or whether it's a, uh, an extended family member or a partner uh, or, or, or just a hire, you know, you, you put somebody in a role that they are, are essentially good at, then they'll they'll thrive, you know, and that frees you up to do what you're really good at as well. So Alex is fantastic with the dogs. You know, he likes the uh, he likes being out and about with them. He likes the fact that when he's he's finished for the day, he goes off and does what he needs to do. Um, I kind of knew Beth was going to be good at all of the things that I'm not very good at in the business because we're we're quite opposites in that sense. You know, I'm quite um, I'm quite loud and, uh, and and big picture and in your face, and she's quite reserved and uh, and really good at all the details things. So I kind of had a good idea that she was going to be really good at uh, at the role, the operations manager role, and so it's turned out. Yeah, so it's it has its challenges, but you know, overall, it's about putting people in the right jobs, you know, for for what they're good at. Wow! Wow! Yeah, that, that's great advice. And yeah, we just talked about that on uh, the podcast that we recorded. So everyone will have to go listen to that. <laughs> Did you have any idea when you, when you left working from the cigarette, the cigarette company that you would be, you know, have a company and be training people worldwide and be able to give your wife and, and your son a job? I mean, did you ever see that in your future? Absolutely not. No, I, when I, when I started, I brought a couple of things from the from the tobacco industry. So I, I, I knew I knew about things like premium pricing, you know, and, and I and I knew I knew that there was expensive brands and, and cheaper brands. And when you really looked at them, there wasn't a lot of difference behind the curtain, so to speak, between them. And so I knew if I started a business, I would want to be selling Rolls Royces and Ferraris instead of, you know, Ford Focuses and that, that kind of thing. I, I, I kind of had that idea in my head. So when I started the business, I pitched it at the top straight away. But my initial intention was, you know, like everybody, I was thinking, you know, if, if I'm doing a, a hundred quid, if I'm doing a hundred pounds, you know, like I'll, I'll be happy, you know, to start with. And, uh, and yeah, and I, I remember the first job I ever did, the first dog walking job I ever did, I walked the guy's dogs for two days and he left, uh, he left the money out for me. And on the way home, I, I, I hit the curb with my van and ripped a tire and I had to straight away drive to the tire shop and uh, like hand over the money that I just earned for the tire. And I was like, oh, OK, this is like this oh, is what no. it's like running a business. You know, I need to I need to really knuckle down with this. And uh, yeah, hard work, you know, always trying to push yourself, always trying to do different things different to the competition. This is the stuff that elevates you. And, um, and yeah, and it's kind of led me to where I am right now. Wow. Wow. What a journey. 
Mm, mm, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then like yourself, buddy, you know, we, it has been a hell of a journey and I'm really proud of where I am and, and what we're doing. And, you know, we rode out the pandemic and, you know, things are looking brighter, you know, there's lots of things going on in the world, rising costs and inflation and all this kind of thing. But, you know, I think if you, if you have your, uh, your vision for where you want to go, you can ride all that out as well. So yeah, we, we've been on a hell of a journey, but uh, there's still lots of, there's still lots of the journey to go. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So the, the way that I got uh, introduced to you was I, I had a client that told me that I should write a book. And uh, at the time I thought, oh no, a dog walker can't write a book. That's, that's nuts. But it kept uh, trickling in my, my mind, this idea. And I got on Google one day and uh, looked up dog walker books and your book, Walk Yourself Wealthy was one of the first ones that came up. I ordered it on Amazon and uh, read it in one sitting, and it completely changed the trajectory of my business. I, I keep that book on my desk to this day. I have notes in the margins. I have it highlighted with sticky notes in it. Um, so that's how I was introduced to you a couple of years ago. I immediately added you on Facebook after reading that book and sent you a message and said, you've inspired me. I'm going to write my own book. Um, so A, Thank you for that. And B, I want to know what inspired you to write a book as a, as a dog walker, as a, as a pet person, how, why, and how did you write your first book? So the first book, so that, that book, Walk Yourself Wealthy, that was actually the second book that I wrote. The first one was uh, How to Be a Dog Superhero. So at the time I was, I was still, uh, had the dog adventure business and I was doing more dog training and I that was kind of after I went through this phase of really learning everything I could about marketing so you know I invested a ton of money in my education and coaching programs and joined masterminds and really sought out you know the experts who I resonated with who I thought I want to I want to have a business like these guys you know I want to have this kind of thing and and, and a lot of this kept cropping up all the time, this thing about expert status. You know, you want to position yourself as an expert. And one of the ways that we can do that is by writing a book, you know. So the first book I wrote was uh, How to Be a Dog Superhero. And that was all about how to connect and play and have a fantastic relationship with your dog. And that kind of led people onto a dog training in a circle that I had at the time, like an online dog training membership. And I'm going back to like 2016 now. And so then when I transitioned, when I sort of made the full transition from, uh, it's like a funny thing to how, how your vision changes over the years. And at the start, when I started, I was like, I just want to help people with their dogs. You know, I want to help people have a better relationship with their dogs. And then as, as the business grew and I developed, I, I realized that, you know, really I was better at marketing, you know, I was better at marketing and help people with that. So I was like, okay, well, how can I help more people with their dogs? Well, I can help more people have better relationship with their dogs by helping pet business owners, you know, get better at marketing so they can better connect with people in their town and, you know, really put their services out there. So that's what led me really onto the, the coaching side of things. And so when I decided that was the avenue I was going to go down, it made sense for me to write a book about that. And, and I'd had all this success with my dog walking business. I'd made mistakes as well. Um, but yeah, that's where um, Walk Yourself Wealthy came from. And uh, and yeah, it, it, it's been, a, the, the books have been fantastic tools for me and the other ones that I've written as well, because, you know, well, ultimately they've allowed me to connect with people like yourself. And a lot of clients come to me, a lot of coaching clients, you know, their first interaction with me is through a book. And a book is a great way to, tell your story it's a great way for people to um sort of find out more about you without actually you know getting in touch with you and committing to a phone call the book tells the story of the business it tells people who you are it tells people how you can help them and and and, and you know if, if people like the book then they'll probably like you and then and if you structure the book the right way it'll lead them to uh, want to connect with you and hopefully buy more of your services you know yeah. Wow. Wow. I, I have to say, um, you know, I, I read that book a couple of years ago. I messaged you on Facebook and yeah. said, I'm, I'm working on my book and still don't have a book out. Uh, <laughs> writing a book is much easier said than done. Um, did you have help with that process or did you just sit down and were you able to just crank it out? 
No, no, I, I had help. I mean, I was writing a lot at the time. I was writing my newsletters. I was writing my daily emails. But still, the structure of the book is, is a little bit different. We overthink it a lot in our heads, you know. But when you have a structure, I had a, a book coach as well who helped me out massively. And then once I kind of knew the formula, it, it was quite easy, really. You know, well, well, it wasn't easy. The first one was really difficult. Don't get me wrong. But after that, much, much, much easier. You know, second, third ones fourth, fifth, sixth, you know, they they get a lot easier. Um, but you do have to commit to it. You know, you have, to, you have to set time aside for it. It's like anything, you know, it's like if you say I'm going to get fit or I'm going to learn Spanish or some, you know, you are going to learn the salsa dance. You like, it isn't going to happen by itself. You've got to set time aside. You've got to get a mentor, you know, you've got to get somebody to help you. Um, and, and like that, yeah, but to be fair to yourself, you know, you have been growing your business quite exponentially since then as well. So um, it's not like you haven't been doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I might have to uh, get your book mentor's uh, information after we finish recording here. Yeah, well, we do. I mean, inside of the coaching, we, I have a lot of guys in my, in my coaching programs who've written books as well, you know, and so we help them. Uh, yeah, well, there's dozens of them in there who we've helped to do this now. It's just, um, it's a big part of what we do. So yeah, definitely. I can, I can, I can sort you out there. I can help you out. <laughs> Excellent. I'm glad that you mentioned your, uh, your, your daily emails. I'm on a lot of different email lists and yours always stand out to me. I don't even open 90% of the emails that I get because they're boring, they're routine, they're just not even worth opening. Your emails are the most interesting, they're personal, they're, and, you, and you speak like a real person in your email. All of these other emails that I get are like canned responses, they're so formal and not even readable to me. I, I, you sent an email a couple of days ago, uh, just with an update about the puppy that you're caring for and what your kids are up to. I don't know you. I don't know your kids. I don't know the puppy, but I loved reading that email because I read all of your daily emails. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, uh, did, did you learn how to create this email list and how to, how to perfect these emails through that education that you're put yourself through or what what's your what's your system for that email list yeah 100 percent. that was all, a big part of the um a big part of the journey that I went on was was plugging into really old school marketers you know so a lot of people who are teaching especially pet business stuff but I guess any industry really they teach a lot of social media things and, and it don't we talked about this before it's very relevant it's very useful we all use it you know but it's not the only way to um to grow your business and to connect with people and you should be doing offline um marketing you should be doing paper and ink you should be doing events uh you should be doing face-to-face -face stuff and then on, on the online front email is still a fantastic way to to connect with people and build a relationship and get them to buy stuff from you you know because people 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 don't buy from you straight away, you know, that usually a lot of people do if they're, if they're in dire need of a dog walker or a pet sitter or a trainer. But a lot of people don't need one straight away or, or they're not ready. They don't trust you enough. And so you need a way to kind of build up that trust with them. And it happens over time. You know, I tell the story about when I met Beth, we, first, we started to work together when we were um, like 16, 17 year old. We worked and we both got hired at the local theater as theater ushers selling ice creams and stuff, you know, and uh, and we worked together our first shift. And, and I thought, oh, who is this girl? She's she's she's, she's lovely. And uh, and I was showing off, you know, and I was being really uh, very me. And uh, and it, I, I thought, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm onto a winner here. Little did I know she thought I was a complete insert swear word you know i'm trying to keep it i'm trying to keep a clean book for your channel they, you know she, she 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 thought i was a complete idiot you know and 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 so how are we married 20 odd years later with eight chickens and two kids and three dogs and stuff what well, was because we worked together lots over lots of times lots of periods lots of shifts we did together and she got to know me and you know I got to know her and it, that's like follow-up you know you want to have follow-up steps in your business like that and so yeah I learned how to write these really personal emails and it's it, it's it's they're like ugly emails you know they're not colorful it's just text it's just me talking as if 
as if we're having this chat right now, aren't we? And it, but it's incredibly effective. And yeah, if, once you nail that kind of style, you can write anything, you know, you can write posts, you can write articles, you can write books. It's a, it's a great way to connect with people, bring them into your world, warm them up, and then be like a reassuring presence to them so that when they are ready to buy your service, you're the one they're going to think of. That's, that's great. That's great. If anyone's not on Dom's email list, uh, go to his website and, and sign up for the email list. I mean, like I said, I'm on so many different email lists and his emails are the only ones that I look forward to reading every day. So <laughs> <laughs> very good. So what's your goal? You, uh, you're coaching people all over the world. You've got so many different things going on. You're writing books. You're, uh, you've got your podcast, you've got your dog adventure business. Where, what's your goal? Where do you see yourself in five, 10 years? Uh, I think at the moment, I want more. I, I, th I think I probably want to be, I want to be recognized as like the number one pet business coach in the world. You know, that's what, I, that's what I'm after. I, I, I feel like I can, uh, I've had a lot of experience myself. I've had a lot of experience of coaching different business owners at different levels of their business journey. And uh, I've kind of gotten very good at, um, I call them, I put my dumb specs on and I can see very quickly where the issues are, where the hidden money is in people's businesses. And, uh, you know, I, I really enjoy seeing them turn things around and kind of that, that moment that you talked about where we, you know, you, we set them free in the business, you know, we, we, we clear everything away. We, we make a whole, we unscramble the Rubik's cube, so to speak. And then uh, we make it all kind of clear for them so that, so they know where they're going. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, I have more, you know, I want to do some more traveling. I want to do some uh, speaking abroad and, um, you know, build up the, build up the client base. And yeah, we've got a, the pandemic, everything took a little bit of a hit with the pandemic, didn't it? You know, and, um, but we still continue to grow the business and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just sort of putting my foot to the gas now, continuing to do this kind of thing. And, and which is going to enable me to connect with more pet business owners um, who are, who are the right fit for me, Doug, you know, I want people who, you know, like yourself, who they, they, they know what I'm about, you know, that, you know, there's certain people who aren't a good fit for me. Uh, there's certain people who are a very good fit for me. And yeah, I've just, it's my job to go out there and find them and, uh, and help them to, like I said, I want them to have a better life. I want their, their pet business to be the vehicle for all of the good things that happen in their life and for them to have an impactful business uh, and, you know, and, and bring them everything that their, their family needs. And it's, it's not easy to do that sometimes. We take some difficult decisions, um, but it's really worth it in the long run. So yeah, so that's my goal. Oh, that's, that's great. Inspiring. To close us out, I want to ask one last question. What, if you could give one piece of advice to pet business owners, what would it be? Your number one piece of advice. My number one piece of advice, well, it's, it's a little bit vague and cryptic, but, it, but I, I'll, and I'll get, add a little bit of detail. So the, the one piece of advice really I would do is look at what everybody, Earl Nightingale, um, famous self-development coach said, if you want to be successful in any field, look at what everybody else is doing and do the opposite. Because most people aren't actually doing that well. You know, they might shout about the fact they're doing great on social media and, and whatnot, but most people aren't. A lot, it's, a few people are, but most people aren't. So you want to look at what the majority are doing, the middle and majority, and you want to do the opposite. And uh, yeah, one of these things would be being premium. We talked about that earlier, you know, being premium, increase your prices. We're going to say increase your prices and yeah, and, and get offline. You know, what you did when you started your business, you went out in your community with a handful of leaflets, you got chucked out of restaurants because you were you know, soliciting and, uh, and trying to sell your services. And uh, you were in people's faces and you were, you know, um, shaking hands and stroking dogs and all this kind of thing and connecting with people like this, you know, be premium and get offline with your marketing. There's two. Wow. That's, that's amazing. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me on your podcast and for connecting with me and, and for letting me borrow some of your time for this video. I, I appreciate you so much. No worries, my friend, anytime. Thank you again so much for watching this video. Uh, again, this was just so much fun for me to do an interview. Uh, I would really love to do more of this kind of content. So let me know uh, if you would like to see this kind of stuff down in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe to the channel, 
to uh, stay up to date with my content. And more important than anything, click on the link in the description to get your ticket to the October 15th Grow Your Pet Business Fast Seminar. Uh, I am so, so excited to get to meet you guys in person and for you guys to uh, learn from Dom and from myself. This uh, is just so exciting to me. Um, and I hope to see you there.